the Super Mid movie. I'm gonna be completely honest. I was expecting a lot more from the Super Mario movie, but I think what we got is absolutely fine. But it's not a good movie. It's not a bad movie at all. Okay, I'll calm yourself. I just don't think it's like a great movie. The references in the movie, mwah, the references are so amazing and it's filled throughout the whole entire movie. But that's the problem. The movie is all references. The movie seemed like it wanted to focus on brotherhood, but then separated the brothers and then Luigi gets zero real screen time. It seems like Mario is supposed to grow as a person and overcome his problems. But at the end of the movie, he just becomes invincible and just wrecks everyone. Like, this movie is super, super fun. It's super, super fun. But as a movie, I think it's kind of ass. Ass is too harsh of a word. But, like, it, it, it's just good. It's mid. It's mid. It's like a 6.10 or something. What the fuck? It's like a 6 out of 10. I'll actually give more criticism in depth about how I feel about this movie. Bowser was the best part of this movie. DK was one of the funniest people, and it's because it's Seth Rogen. Bowser was one of the most in-character people I've ever seen. Mario, Mario didn't feel like Mario. Peach didn't really feel like Peach. I don't know. Luigi doesn't really feel like Luigi. I'm sorry, these characters just don't really feel like they're living up to their potential. And it's not necessarily because of the characters or anything like that. It's because of the voice actors. I don't think Chris Pratt does a very good Mario. It's not very expressive. It's not, it's not really like great at making me buy like he is in this character, you know? Charlie Day, I love their voice, but I don't love their voice for Luigi. Cranky Kong, Cranky Kong feels very out of place. Like I didn't really like, think they were the best suit for it, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of this movie kind of feels out of place for me, but it also feels fun. There's a scene where the Mushroom Kingdom is in danger and Peach goes to save the kingdom. Instead of sending her massive army of toads who actually trained her to be as competent as she is. It's so stupid. You even see the whole montage of the toads training her to become what she is now, but she's going? to protect them? Why? They made you their queen! I don't understand, dude. Like, I, 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 I can, I can, oh my god, oh my god. I can excuse stupidity for fun, but this is just like, this makes no sense to me. It's just plot A, it's just a plot device to move the plot along, that's all. Oh, the whole story just felt like a speed run, like, we went to this part, we went to this part, 10 minutes here, go to the next part, 10 minutes here, go to this part, it's like fucking, I, I can't pay attention to one thing without them switching to another. It really irritated me. To basically sum up all my thoughts about this movie in the most simplistic way possible, it basically feels like you're a parent watching your kids play Super Mario Wii. That's literally all. How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm out.